So now that sponsoring change is working great, is it time to talk about what needs to be done to improve sponsoring new packages? Um, oh. <laughs> that's, I think an, another potential direction that we could take this would be expanding sponsorship outside of things that we traditionally put, called being in the sponsorship queue, like moving it outside of things that are immediately ready to be uploaded into things like patches that are st sitting on bugs and stuff like that. Because people think that if they, I, I do know that a lot of people think that if they put a patch on a bug, that then they've done their part and it's done. And the reality is that right now nobody looks at those. If a patch is sitting on a bug, it's likely to go ignored for an extraordinarily long period of time. Yeah, so, some people have been like picking bugs with patches and subscribing sponsor to fill the queue this cycle. I didn't exist. Like, right. You yeah. um, could communicate on it, like, and not how much people do this. Yeah, thinking of other areas other than just the sponsors do, where patch players can do work, I guess. Something that would be helpful. Certainly, if the queue is short enough that there's nothing to sponsor directly, like one thing you could do is look at patches, put them in a form that would be ready for sponsorship. Yes, and I added that to the uh, patch pilot documentation mm -hmm. already. Um, something else in the back pods session we talked about. Yeah, that. If it could make sense to to test a few backports. Test backports. You know, set up a change route, build it, test it. As part of the sponsoring? If people get bored. <laughs> there's always some work to do. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like a different focus. Yeah, yeah. I would start rather by cleaning like the, like the, the mm -hmm. clean strip, like keeping this way, like cleaning it's the It's much patches. more important than this, yeah. <clears throat> Do the people who have been half piloting feel like the queue has been staying short enough that they are getting, that they are running out of, of piloting things to do? Yes. Sometimes. Oh, so sometimes. So actually, uh, I didn't realize the remit before we went to patch piloting. Um, I thought when I started patch piloting that uh, it was essentially working on the sponsorship queue. Um, <coughs> Daniel corrected me and uh, said they also should be looking at bugs with patches attached and whether or not they can be worked on or be implemented. So I think there's a discoverability issue as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure that, that the idea of working through Operation Clean Sweep, Sweep was sort of our original target. I think that our original target was let's make the sponsorship queue shorter. Um, and I think that like we managed to do that much more quickly than we expected to. In an ideal world, we wouldn't have a sponsors team. It's just not discoverable enough. Sponsors what? Uh, we wouldn't have sponsors team. We wouldn't have it. Actually, I wanted. I just talked about that a couple of weeks ago. When we should just get in that form. Add a bug to desk. That's it. <coughs> no, just as a. Process issue. Oh, yeah. It's it's really hard for somebody to, to figure out. Yeah, but people are coming, put a patch there. Yeah. And nobody is on paying, and they have to the sponsors team. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't know about it. Um, I don't think we're at a point that we can do that yet, just because there are a lot. Of, I mean, there's what there are thousands of patches that have. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe we could like start doing it for new patches, but like for the backlog, like. That sounds like a great way. Until we get the until we get the operation things we've stuff under control, that sounds like a great way to lose more patches than we already do. One idea that I mentioned in a previous session, uh, what that we could add another table to the sponsoring overview was the last hundred bucks was patches. So if we are running out of items for the sponsoring queue, you can just scroll down and see what needs to be done for the patches. So yeah, so we have 2,300 bugs that have patches attached to them. Whoa. Um, there may be some process issues around that. Like if somebody has a bad patch, I'm not sure how how easily it is to sort of unmark it as having a patch available. Yes, so, so, so that's why. Yeah. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah. This is no longer a patch for this issue. <laughs> yeah, you just set it on a patch and then get the one doesn't have a cluster. And yeah, but. but uh, we better have a status where you can say oh, the patch is um, doesn't work or something like that. So now, granted, this particular bug also is sponsored subscribe, but it's why we uh, use tags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
operation. But the problem with tax is if you, if the person then adds in the second patch, will we ignore in the second patch because we have tax that they attach on the basis? Of course it is, but. Is there, is there a better way of doing it? At least right now. I mean, with the patch needs work, what means to do what happens? <coughs> Let, uh, like, what yeah. are you... What well, are you tag it as a patch, and then you add a tag saying patch needs work, and then you expect someone to come on and apply the new patch, right? Yes. I don't know what value the tag adds to it, other than metrics. Other people are not going to look at it. Like it's off the yeah, you can't tag it as a patch. So no, it's not going to come as a bug with a patch anyway. Hmm? I'm not sure I understand. I, I, I don't know. All I'm saying is that I think adding and removing tags is kind of bureaucratic. And it is. It is but the problems of being mis mistakes. And I'm, and I'm not sure that the tags add very much because you're, un you're removing the patch marker anyway, so it's no longer a bug with a patch because you've taken away the patch marker from it. Oh. I'm not quite sure if, if the clean school team, if, if they do do that. Well, they could. Mm -hmm. say that yeah, they could. That's they a could. better way, that's less way to say. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot less work people are doing the patches and we just have to uncheck one box rather than looking at what tags it's got, removing and adding and messing around with that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, you know, I can't really done this so. mm -hmm. One idea mine was that it would be nice if someone adds a patch that is adaptive. Then that the script automatically subscribes Windows Windows. In case that someone forgets it or doesn't know. I I think I think in a in a perfect world <laughs> uh, you wouldn't have the sponsors. Queue or the sponsorship group, like the sponsorship queue would be the list of bugs that have that flag set or have outstanding any references. Like if, if if any bug that has a patch attached should be a candidate for sponsorship in a perfect world. We're obviously not there yet. Right. Does does Harvest look at the patch flag? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> no. um. That is actually going to So one thing, I don't know if you can do this, but look, look at bugs that have patches attached to them, and if they change anything in Debian, then it's probably a sponsor of a dev diff, therefore you can have those sponsors to subscribe, subscribe to the same for. If missing, if things not ending up on the queue is, is a big concern, then I think it's something Uh, you have to make sure if you unsubscribe won't respond to stuff doesn't get re-added here yeah. it doesn't get re-added mm -hmm. so you, I mean, your script just looks at the patches that have been added since the last time you've done it for example are there any um are there any issues? So the one thing that I can think of that we might want to imp improve in terms of education is that I don't think uh, we've done a good job of documenting how you deal with a merge proposal that isn't ready to be merged. I think that's the one thing that I don't think I've seen handled very well. So I can if, if there's a merge proposal in the sponsorship queue that a sponsor deems as being unready to be merged, we have a mechanism for dealing with that, but I don't think that, I think there are a lot of people that aren't aware of it. Just namely to change the status to work in progress instead of mm -hmm. ready to merge or whatever it is. <clears throat> Take a look. Let's see. It's like uh, a meta note about that is that I think that's a because um, that's like that's a process. That's that that's, work, that's, that's working. That's that's working around a, a deficiency in the merge proposal process. It is, but it's it's the standard workaround that like lots of people do, and I th I think that I I, I agree. That I think that it's. Not just here, but like just letting people know that that's sort of a standard way of dealing with mm -hmm. that is something that's probably generally useful. 
It might be something to talk about with the launch five guys. Yes, I mean, for, for us, there's an issue that basically every merge proposal mm -hmm. um, is marked by default as it should be reviewed by the person that owns the branch. The person who owns the branch is the Ubuntu branches group, which consists of like Colin and James and the tech board and, and, yeah, and the TV. Yeah. Uh, We could probably put a link to, so I think we can, I think Harvest can already extract all the information that you need for that. Um, they, they still have the page open. Uh, uh, so our Harvest can search on whether the, the patch flag is set on a bug. Yeah. And so we could probably just post a link. Um, um, So if we could generate a link to this query, we could probably just put a link to that on the sponsorship page. If there's nothing you can sponsor, try here. Yes. <clears throat> so lots of things. Yeah. Well, but we did talk about having the speed the most recent patches, because they're almost like more, more most likely I see. to add value. Yeah. Mm, yes. Um, I'd like to see a second table on the sponsoring include that. That's really prevalent. Uh, I mean, maybe the yeah. 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 yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you can search by. Let's see. Projects. Or no. Uh, distribution. And then search tasks. Uh, yeah, so you can search by for tasks that have patch. Okay. So that would be. Shouldn't easy. be that big problem. Yeah. Um, I'll also, I'm going to go ahead and take an action. I was talking about this with, with Pity earlier. Uh, one issue on the SRU side of things is that um, since there's only a small group of people, since only the people that can upload the package can accept a nomination to create a new bug task, um, you can end up with scenarios where uh, there's a SRU dev diff sitting there Nobody's accepted the nomination. It's been fixed in the development release, so the bug is closed, which causes it to fall off the sponsorship queue. Oh. Um, Can we check if someone uh, proposed? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to take an action to, to have the sponsorship queue look for that. OK, I, I could do, do that too, but if you want. Uh, if you want it, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> um. I know the code, so it shouldn't be a big problem to find the right place. Really? Does the, does the SRU process document nomination as part of the Yes, it does. So Doesn't people just be looking at the answer to nomination? Um, I don't think it does. Uh, it, it, says, it says you're supposed to click the nomination. I don't think, basically, I'm saying that I don't think this is right. I think people should instead be looking at the nominations and accepting them. Um, so there's still a little bit of trickiness here. So it, this goes either one of two ways. The way that this used to go is that everything got nominated for everything under the sun, which is useless, obviously. Um, they recently restricted the nomination so that I think only like bug control or something approximating that can make nominations at all, which means that they might be more useful, but it's still the case that nobody looks at them. And the people who are supposed to be looking at them are release team, I think, or something like that. Anyone like the, the, who could upload the package can accept some reject though. That's correct. So patch pilots could be looking at this one. Yeah, but if it doesn't appear on the sponsor team. Yeah, I'm saying patch pilots could be looking at the pending nominations. I think it's it's probably I think it's probably better for there to be one place that sponsors look for information. Yeah. Or they have pilots look for information. If we start giving them a list of tabs that they have to open and run through, then I think. Um, I think the kind of the same thing would happen as what happened with the sponsors queue. After a few weeks, there would only be three or four per day to them. But if they're in the same place, they're already looking. Well, then, okay, then it sponsorship queue to show me nominations that I should look at to accept or reject. I mean, sure. This is the right, Same. This is the okay, right way to do SRUs. Uh, and, and enhance sponsorship queue to, to look for um, nominations. 
to do something about pending SRE nominations. Yeah. I think nom as nominations are the way to do SOUs, we should be working around it by showing patches. We should be looking for nominations and stuff. <coughs> Uh, I do think that's only a partial solution since not everybody can can even nominate yeah, well that, these days. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what we do about that. The, pro the process <coughs> should match up with what should be done. Honestly, I think it might be re it, it might not be unreasonable to actually search for bugs with any status that have Ubuntu sponsor subscribed. I looked the other day; there are only about 84 bugs right now that are fixed, released, and still have sponsors subscribed to them. So we could work that down fairly quickly, and then yeah, because uh, sometimes we move the. Uh, um, sponsoring team from the bugs that are really fixed. Well, right, exactly. Yeah, so just be sure to remove sponsors. Be sure to always remove sponsors even if you fix the bug. Yeah. And then for SRUs, if the bug happened to be closed due to this artifact of the process, but sponsors still subscribe, then we can see it. But I don't know. I think they're I very often don't bug that. Yeah, no, I can't say that I ever do that. It's fixed release. It's no, most, people, yeah. most people apparently bother because there aren't that many bugs that yeah, still have subscribed to that. Some people want to remove the subscription. No, I don't think I've ever bothered to be I've honest. I've never done that. And I've got loads of it, i just... Okay. I mean, for, for sync requests and stuff, yes. Okay. So, so it gets off, off our yeah, list. Yeah, that's because right. sync requests are still at a status where they would come up in the open. Yeah, right, okay. Exactly. I mean, if, if, okay, then we can... I mean, if, if somebody wants to write a script... Sure, then let's, let's do this by looking at nominations or something like that. That's fine. Okay, so far. Mm. Maybe we should discuss with people in here who have done patch piloting, how they think, you know, if they think there's anything they would like done differently. Is it? Sorry, I was like, I'll just see you in a discussion. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what do you think about patch piloting? How did it work out for you? Quite good. Yeah? I think the during a part of the cycle the queue was pretty much empty. Mm -hmm. And we are running out of like spawn time to do. And that's why you added new stuff to the list? Yeah, I think like we should communicate to people that see the queue is empty so they can like go and look for like they're waiting for response or like for good. Yes. Good. Did you get it? Yeah, I mean, I can um, say the same. <coughs> that what I found particularly towards the start was that uh, what people were doing um, was leaving the hard stuff and the stuff which was never going to get sponsored, and that just stayed in the queue. And then I would look at it, and then a month later, I would see the same one in the queue. Like, um, you should get rid of things that aren't ready for getting sponsoring. So, for example, the top three ones are. Rejected, and we should get rid of them in the list. Yeah, no, one of them was quite a deep X issue, and I was a couple of touch in that. Yeah, yeah. this is part of what we discussed when we. Is it the idea was that you should that, that the patch pilots are going to be the people who are who are best aware of who the domain experts are, yeah, and they're so in the best position to pull those domain experts into the discussion. I did. I, did. I raised it with uh, Bryce, I think, and he, he said he'd follow up. Right. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. No, you can't really do anything. Yeah. It, it, was, it was not necessarily that you have to feel like you need to upload every bug, but you have to look at help it along yeah. to contact the person who is best to look at it. Yeah, to, uh, towards the end of the cycle, I found that um, I, particularly when there was three patch pilots in one day, I had two important tap in the queue, so I went for some of the bugs attack, patches attached, and there was a couple I, um, I sponsored in where I debonized them. Yeah. Um, and I was trying to sort of give the person credit, and uh, I wasn't quite sure whether I should actually give them the um, the, the actual change entry and things. You know, I, I, I usually do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always feel a bit uncomfortable with that because I think that I'm almost signing it on their behalf, if you like. You know, it's you see what I mean. If I, I mean, I'm quite particular what I put my change of messages. You pick their signature. Yeah, so <laughs> giving them credit for a change that they didn't specifically ask. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you don't even have the email address. Yeah, certainly. Actually, there was more than once I had to actually search for the person's email address. Yes, certainly. One way that you can handle that is for patches against the source is just handle in the depth three header. 
Well, yeah, but things didn't have email addresses for the day. So uh, I just had to track this person <laughs> down <laughs> through LinkedIn and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, something but on that, I, I did notice that people seemed to be going the extra mile um, towards the end of the cycle, the beginning of the cycle, people were just going, but that's, that's a bit of a sponsor, and that's, that's not, I'm not going to touch it. Whereas towards the end, um, people were um, fixing up changes rather than just saying reject. Yeah. And I, I thought that was very positive. I think the, the reviews on, on Devel probably help with that, because you can read what other people are doing. And doing. So, you actually, so I think I only posted once or twice with what I did. Um, do people actually get benefit out of that? Really? I think, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. You can see that someone works on the queue. So. And also, sometimes it sparked like a longer discussion about some of the bugs or or how we handle processes. Or yes, yes. And that's something I would like to see more. On, on one day when I shared <coughs> my look with you, mm. uh, we did have an Etherpad document where we were documenting what we were working on so we could trim each other's feet and mm. things like that. That, that, that worked all right. Yeah. It was awesome. Usually I put it together with the case and we don't have many old people. <laughs> <laughs> Of the end of the world. You know, when I was uh, when I was back at school on the East Coast, like you or Martin waking up were usually my standards for having been up too late. Are <laughs> 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 oh, there enough patch pilots? Um, I think we're at the point now. Hang on, let me give you the link. This is the. It's commented out in, in the wiki page, but this is basically the rough schedule I use. Now, now I wrote a script that adds them to uh, yeah, that, that's been helpful to me. Google Calendar. And it's a world of yeah. looks like the pain. Does anyone track if people are actually doing that? I must admit, last week I did. Yeah. I was I was on the airplane all day travelling here, yeah. <coughs> so I actually yeah. skipped that one. I'm not I, blaming people. I'm just saying, is anyone noticing if people aren't doing it? I. And is anything? I did it for, for Rick, once, and I think we were at. Eighty-five percent. It's not too bad. I mean, <coughs> sometimes people are just on holidays or, you know, didn't notice it. Or sometimes there's like a freeze coming and you need to be like... Yeah, the, like yeah but this, this was a totally but foreseeable this, thing, right? So there's a... There's, there's always there's a, be, is a yeah. six-day cycle what it normally is? It, is? Hmm? it looks like there's a six-day cycle right now on the calendar. Because Dustin and Matthias come, both come up after. This, yeah, this is kind of a problem. Oopsie. There's way more, <laughs> way more engineers than that. But, oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> But, yes. It and you apparently only have to go once, though. <laughs> well, that looks, looks wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> but yeah, also something I didn't realize, I thought that if I couldn't do my day, uh, I should find someone to swap with. But uh, Daniel said, just move it around. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought really, I, I don't, to I don't, I don't want to get, get, I got loads of emails. Oh, I'm so sorry, I can't do it, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, whatever. Just move Tell someone who cares. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I care, but no. But just have interest. How many people who are patch pilots are canonical? I don't think anybody's you scheduled this. Yeah, you can't someone like that if they're not um, I think that there have been a couple times that random monsters have piloted in for an hour or two. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did notice is that I know that one of the things that John really wanted to get out of the patch pilot program was more uh, direct interaction with people that were getting sponsored. And I don't think that happens. I'm not sure that that's a problem, but it definitely didn't really happen that much. Like for the most part, um, like people would, would pilot it on IRC when they were piloting, but uh, like it wouldn't necessarily drive any extra conversation on IRC. I've seen, I have seen it happen. Like people were ping the patch pilot and say, and look at this and stuff. Yeah, I think that was... Like, 
pilots, I think, do you make themselves available on IRC for people that they want to? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, with sign in. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what, like, <coughs> other than being the topic of the channel and being on the channel. Yeah. 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 Do you, I, 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 I think that John, John had a goal of, of, of the sponsorship process becoming much more uh, fast feedback and interactive, and I don't think that necessarily happened. People don't really use the patch pilot as like an on call review, which is what I thought was one of the things that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think it's still. A good thing to do. I mean, it's it's an offer we make. If nobody takes it. Yeah. No, no harm done. Yeah. And one thing I did see happening a bit was people using the patch pilot scheme to get their own patches to kind of jump the queue. Uh, I but I think that was that was I yeah, think that was to some extent. Goal, right? Do I think do I think this is necessarily satisfying? These are like these are developers who we already know are developers, and then they just develop a patch. And I, I don't think it's a, pilot, like that, that's not a change from the status quo though either. Like I think that harassing people in IRC has always been a way, to, yeah, an effective like, way to I've jump the queue. I've done it now. Now I'm going to ping this person. But, but I think that's I think that's always point. been an effective way to jump the queue, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just. Really but in order to try and normalise that, there's a couple of times this cycle where people have um, asked for a view directly from me through Launchpad, and I've said, really, you should use your fucking sponsors. You know, mm -hmm. so so it's the same thing, but getting them more I think, into the cycle. Yeah. So if somebody did get to the thing, then that's cool. So yeah, people should ask for the sponsors rather than the individual through launch pack. But yeah, they can still pick them on IRC. So. Yeah. I just, I just don't want it to be in the team that someone could do that to get their personal patch and that straight away all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, at the same time, um, code review can be a lot more effective when it's interactive instead of yeah, over email. Not every patch needs to have that kind of level That's of sure. instant response and feedback. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it such a problem if people um, jump the queue? It's not a problem if you do it for some patches, but if, if I, I don't know, well, okay, this is one person who was doing it and maybe isn't around anymore. Uh, but I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just using this as an example of something that I saw that you know, it could be a problem. It, it's not a problem doing it in specific cases, but I think getting into the habit of doing it would, would make Because actually, um, if someone pings the same person continually, which is what a lot of people do, they have their favourite sponsors. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, whereas if they get in the habit of pinging the patch pilot today, then they're actually increasing their exposure to the wider community, aren't they? Yeah, they would get that through normal sponsoring anyway, right? Because you can't choose who's going to sponsor it. We can also hope that in an ideal world, the, sponsorship queue, the, the length of the sponsorship queue is approximately zero. And yeah. that A, shouldn't be necessary, and B, shouldn't be harmful if you do it. Yeah, but, but, uh, um, how can I get, uh, if I need a sponsoring, how can, can I talk to the people who sponsor me on IRC if I don't ping him or her? Yeah, I'm not saying you're not allowed to ping people, I'm saying you shouldn't do it for every single patch you do. Because not every single patch you do will need that level of urgent upload. Yeah, but yeah. it's not about urgent upload, it's about uh, talking with a, spon with a sponsor about your work. If the sponsors look, look at your patch. So I don't want, sure I prefer to, to um, chat on IRC yeah. instead of um, typing in Launchpad. Well, that's so, fine, but So I would want that the uh, sponsor knows that I'm on IRC and... Yeah, you're, you're explicitly you are allowed to do that, but I'm just saying you don't have, because if you pick someone, it takes them away from what the patch person they are currently doing. Right? Well, so, uh, two comments. One is that uh, I definitely saw several patch pilots that were very effective in saying, okay, I will push you onto my queue yeah, of things yeah. that I'm dealing with. Um, but also, uh, I don't think I've seen that as being a problem for someone doing that consistently outside of the one case that no, you're no, talking no. about. I'm just saying, like, this, is a, this is obviously a pathological example that's not happening anymore. It's, it's, I'm, I'm admittedly, and I want to stop this discussion now because I'm pushing it yep. to the discussion that's not happening. So. Yeah. Um, what else? a lot of universe packages in the queue right now. Universe needs some more luck. Yeah. Yeah, as you, I usually avoid them. I think no, I think that's... There's, there's a lot of people who can sponsor. Yes, yes. Sponsor. I agree. Yes. Um, I, I usually try to work through it. I just haven't had time lately. Just like a, I 
I know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Are we that happy with, with the sponsorship? Is it time for lunch already? Are you asking about people? Yeah, just sponsors. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. well, well, I mean, Ian and I were certainly some of the people who were whining last time, and I'm I'm definitely happy. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm going I'm going to to write a blog post and ask for comments there. Mm -hmm. There is one one thing I did notice: some of the so every canonical engineer is supposed to be assigned to patch writers, right? Not all of these people are familiar with sponsoring and Debian packaging and stuff. Uh, yeah, in particular, I've seen like. So I noticed um, people being assigned to being patch pilots who didn't really know what they were supposed to like, how to sponsor or yeah. how to package and stuff. Yeah, but it's a it's a two-way loan. Yeah, it is. Right. It is. I'm just saying that maybe you know, on their first or first. Maybe yeah. one or two patch by the session, uh -huh. so they should maybe be with someone else. I suspect the person that could give best input on that would be APW. Um, yeah. Because he's not, um, uh, he's, he's a kernel guy, yeah. but he's, he seems motivated by, by trying to do this stuff. Yeah, sure. I'm just wondering if they should be buddied Legs up for your first couple of. Legs pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's mentoring for new patch pilots or something maybe should happen. Or, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, perhaps if they're doubling up with another patch yeah. pilot. Yeah. So, if, you know, if it's your one, if it's one of your first two patch pilot sessions, you get assigned with someone, so then they can. Yeah. And then you just run your bugs through them and get any issues. So something for uh, sponsor for acting um, syncs. Um, I I've been using um, Daniel's act sync script. You know, I I like that. Uh, but I understand you're going to be uh, integrating that into um, app you. sync. It seems like that would probably stay in within dev tools, right? Yeah, no, I thought you were uh, going to um, rewrite that um, using the wide infrastructure stuff. I so sponsor, so the sponsor patch, that that that. Yeah, that, that my plan. Oh, sorry. I that was <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's similar. No, no, I, 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 I know you're Nick, but I thought that was you. I was talking to. It was you. I was talking. Sorry. Nah, he does most of the dental stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's on my to do list to integrate Accent into Sponsor Patch, but uh, I need the time to just do it. Where's the actual accent? Hurry up. That's <laughs> five hours. Because Axon has some problems if you, for example, have more than one project and then it takes the first one. I thought I fixed that. Mm. Um, okay. No? Yeah. But, uh, but uh, if you have two op but, um, tasks open, don't know what happened then. I, I, I the sponsor patch asks you which one you, do you want, but Axon doesn't. Yeah, no, hang on, hang on. Because uh, I encountered this bug, um, and I thought I fixed that, so I, I really think I fixed that. Maybe this is an obsolete bug. Okay. I thought you merged it in. Yeah, yeah, I merged it in, that was okay. Let's have a I mean, I do think it would be kind of nice for this number to go down a little bit more, but it seemed to be sort of approaching a steady state. Yeah, maybe the graph is broken. Maybe you can make this much of a color thing based on how long we've been there. 
the, the, yeah, but the thing is, well, we sort by we sort by age by default, right? Yeah, but if it's like red, or if it's a really horrific color, and you don't, you like it hurts your eyes. So <laughs> go if it flashes or something, or plays a sound. <laughs> you know, pop, pop. It flash. Yeah. <laughs> well, so okay, so we got these three bugs, which really should have been like rejected a while ago. <laughs> and uh, and J James Westman's <laughs> ones are skewing it as well, aren't they? These merge proposals. Uh, there aren't too many of those left. Now. That's yeah, they've been handled now. Uh, what should we do with those three right now? Those which ones? Well, we can't. Yes. Ask them. <laughs> Only the the TB and. Uh, Can we work in progress though? Um, there was one I did. Uh, but that's a bug that's going to get fixed. Yeah. Let's see, I can't upload yeah, that, or or that, or that, or that, so or that, or that. I can't upload any of those, so I have no idea what you can do with them. <laughs> I think it did also introduce a regression as well, but I won't see about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I think it's one problem was a uh, package name, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Fixed, like, there's been a commit since then. Fixed source package name. Yeah. Well, it because it, uh, it, I hit the problem once, and twice, and not, now I have to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, to be fair, Daniel should run a test for me. <laughs> no, unit test. <laughs> yeah, we need unit test for spawn patch. No. <laughs> yeah, but why, why are you looking at me? <laughs> okay, I <don't> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, action item. <laughs> yeah, another table on this page, pending to do this. I think it's going to do it. Anything else? Don't steal my item from the list that I want to use for the presentation today. Which one is that? Which one? <laughs> 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 There's a good chance it's not something I can even touch in the first place, so... <laughs> I just took one that is not too big for building it in five minutes. She wanted a purpose in a little bit. That doesn't fault, that doesn't... But I didn't check if it's uh, appropriate, so I don't want to do the actual upload. I just want to show... Well, you can still... Do. You can still... Yeah. yeah. No one's going to no touch it. I mean, and if, if, you, if you mark it in progress and sign it to yourself, nobody will touch it. We'll know. We'll know which one's upload. <laughs> <laughs> Make it the surprise. <laughs> well, that just means we have to do all of them, right? <laughs> yeah. If we go manage to sponsor all, you're right, man. All right. They don't want to start. They're not, they're not going to start early. They don't like that. They get mad at you when you try going early. Exactly. Um, just have a look. All the action items are assigned. Look at doubling up mentoring from new patch pilots. <coughs> now, I'll take that one, obviously. And what is this? Back report? It's a little bit. Oh, okay. Hmm. Someone's typing at the same time. Stop it. <laughs> there. B B D D R R. Awesome. All right. That's it. Why did I get so many action items? <laughs> This is the danger of showing up. <laughs> Actually, really, it's more the danger of being the de facto maintainer for DevTools.
yeah, maybe the problem that I wrote so many scripts for that. Yeah. That makes you the factory maintainer, maintainer, doesn't it? <laughs> You could always pass them the ones to follow or something. I don't actually escape pool work though. Fix that. <laughs> Sweet. Anyone? Yeah. Since it's generally working well, right? I think so. Yes. Good. It's definitely a positive canonical contribution to the meetings. Well, a few. Well done. Well done, everyone involved. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy as well. And what people told me was that they really enjoyed spending four hours in a row concentrate on mm -hmm. it. Do you actually limit four hours? Because yeah. I actually do most of the day. I'm, actually, I'm sponsoring can, stuff all the time. I'm going to revisit whether four hours is the right unit. Actually, some people were saying that's like a day might think that's I think so. The uh, we had this discussion last time. Yeah, we're going to revisit, revisit it. Right? Yeah. Four hours is the correct time to spend. I think at the, at the time Barry was arguing strongly that he thought it should be a day too. Yeah. So Martin maybe said maybe we'd rather spend a day. Martin definitely did, yeah. So I mean, nobody, and no, there no. certainly would be nothing wrong with Martin spending more time as, as, as the patch file. <laughs> yeah. It might have SRUs. Yes. No, the SRU process has gotten a lot better recent, in the last couple of releases too. I mean, because one person manages to find enough time to spend it. Everything, yeah. Well, when we lost Loic, um, there was a similar thing that was like that. Yeah. Hmm. Time for lunch. <laughs> you are funny.